I'm lost for words right now, bro. I'm not sure what's going on. Apparently, Microsoft cautions devs to avoid curvy female characters. Oh Guys, there's a video that I want to show you. Wait for the climax. Because as one man once said, Simon once said, why are you... <laughs> like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are billions and billions of genders. I want to bring you back to the time when Xbox actually revealed Fable. Brothers were shaken. Brothers were really, really excited for the game and then they apparently <laughs> revealed this character and people went crazy because they gave her or him like a 50 pound testosterone shot and then our brothers really really tried they tried their absolute best and then they tried to make the the, the female character look like an actual woman and they played with this make woman woman again and they got mad and now apparently microsoft is saying bro to avoid curvy female characters yeah strong independent guys check this out what's up everyone it's endemion and there's a lot of nonsense to sift through today the garbage this time is extra heavy and delusional extra? this time around I love it. we I got love some it. really out of touch people in the games industry yet again proving why AAA gaming is falling apart of the seams from a weird game ceo proudly stating that their game has no white male characters in it a british broadcast corporation presenter hey, advocating yo, to BBC? purge any and uh, BBC? BBC? All players they disagree with, and a Microsoft-led initiative that deliberately goes out of its way to demand uglier characters from not only the games industry, but others as well. So, yeah. let's begin. I yeah, th they really think that, you know, avoiding curvy female characters, and this is a way to cog-block the gamers. Yeah, they're truly. Here we start with the weirdly racist feminist CEO and what that whole story is about. From thatparkplace.com, we have this article titled, Unleashed Games founder and CEO Irena Pereira brags about excluding white male characters from alpha build of upcoming game Haven. If you haven't heard of this developer or their game Haven, I don't blame you. I didn't even know they existed until they started spewing nonsense either. Apparently, Damn. Haven is an upcoming family-friendly fantasy game. But then I got confused because there's already a game called Haven that came out a few years ago, but apparently this is a different Haven game. I don't know yeah. what to tell you, but if this game's existence already sounds confusing, just know that I'm right there with you. Irena Pereira is your typical oh, feminist right. game developer. There's even this image of her standing in front of a whiteboard with the words non-toxic players being written as a must for their game studio's mission statement. Yeah, go queen! Absolutely, but what kind of toxic gamers you're talking about, right? You want non-toxic players, but what kind of toxic players you have in mind? Are you talking about the toxic gamers that don't want woke bullcrap in their games? Is that the, 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 are these the ones? Or are you talking about the gamers that have a decent enough IQ to know what a male and what female is? And you are like, nah, bro, they, they, you know, they're confused, they're confused. Are those the toxic gamers? Or are you talking about the to toxic gamers that just, you know, don't want to waste their money on, like, incomplete garbage-ass games filled with microtransactions? If this is, uh, this, if this is your definition, then I'm proud to be one of those, actually. You know? I'm proud to be one of those. In an unironic way. Anyway, let's look at what this delusional dev is saying via Twitter. Just wait until they notice that none of our starting characters in our alpha build are white males. None. Out of six. Incredible. Just breaking all the barriers there, Irena. You are a trendsetter, the likes of which this industry has never seen. Six starting characters, and not a single one of them is a white male? This is wow. unheard of. You should be given every <laughs> award for this daring act. Yeah. How Go could you queen. be the first to think of not having a white male character in a leading role in your game? A first of her kind. I'm kidding, obviously, but it gets worse. So yeah, go let's queen, continue. go queen. Have at it. Again, I will say representation matters, and I don't know how many games have lacked female characters or created gameplay penalties for being a female character, or yeah. created vertex yeah. shading on white skin to represent people of color. The answer to your question, Irena, is actually zero. Like, I'm not yeah. even kidding. There has never been a game where playing a female character is actually worse than a male to my knowledge. For example, in Destiny 2, there's three playable classes, Titan, Warlock, and Hunter. And apparently, if you play as a Titan, it is actually detrimental to play as a male character model over a female one. The reason being is that the female Titan character model has a smaller hitbox than the male one. So if you're serious about competitive play in oh Destiny 2, for example, and you play a Titan, yeah, I guess you'd want to oh, play man. a female character on- Yeah, man, like, Sigas, this is what I'm saying, like, in FPS games, brothers love to play as female characters. You know, they, they want to play as female characters because the hitboxes are smaller Bumbaka. and you get a competitive advantage. Bro, I'm all up for that. But like, all I'm saying here is that make woman, woman again. Like the video if you agree. On purpose, in order to ensure that your chances of winning in that game's environment. And then there's games like Halo. Did you know that pretty much all pro players back in the day never played as elites? 
because they had a bigger hitbox than those of Spartans, yeah. which is likely why in future releases, elites aren't featured as prominently when it comes to being playable characters. Yeah, it might sound like I'm going off on a tangent, but the point here is that actually what Irena is trying to push here is just not true no. at all. And there's Bro, simply put, gamers just want a good ass fun ass game. Sekas don't care though. I'll, I'll bring it back an example. I'll go uh, the extreme route. Back in the days when we had Ballad of Gay Tony, yeah, the character was kind of right in GTA 4. Nobody cared. I didn't care. People watching this didn't care. Nobody cared. Because the game fundamentally was good, the story was good, and if we were talking GTA 4, and those Sekas at that time didn't try to push an agenda. People don't have a problem with any of that crap. People have a problem when you tell people what to do. And now it's like in every game. Okay, one game, two game out of ten game. All right, fair. But it's like now every game got they them running around, and now you are purposely uh, saying no white men allowed. Microsoft. I I'm a brown man, uh, by the Bruh. way. No jokes, I actually am. I'm, I'm ethnically brown, actually, okay? I'm a brown man, I'm a big, brown-ass, beautiful man. Uh, and you know what? I demand more rights, and the way I can get more rights is by changing my pronouns to they, them. I just have to lower my IQ. You also have to lower your IQ. Just say they, them, and boom, all of a sudden, you got more rights. Right, here you go. That's the secret cheat code right now. Microsoft caution deaths to avoid curvy female characters. Dog, just make female, uh, just make woman, woman again. Just make men, men again. Don't shove BS political agendas down people's throats, okay? Make a good ass game, and that's it! Then you're gonna see some people play uh, of like uh, as male characters, other brothers gonna play with female characters. That simple as that. Simple as that. There's actually more penalties to playing a male character over a female one in such games and more. And I think the only game where it does benefit you to play a male over female would probably be GoldenEye 64. Cause Odd Job is a midget and can expertly run around rooms karate chopping his enemies' kneecaps. Like I'm not kidding, on the official wiki for GoldenEye 64, even the editors admit that playing Odd Job is genuinely unfair, and it's considered cheating when other players have chosen much more normally proportioned characters in response. Then of course there's Jedi Master Yoda, who's playable in games like Star Wars Battlefront or that one time he was in a Soul Calibur game. And yet again, people complain non-stop that playing as Yoda was cheating in both regards. <laughs> Because it was a similar situation to Odd Job. You were playing this little gremlin of a oh, guy, man. a real goober. And your lack of height and small frame made you much harder. Like, back in the days, nobody cared, though. Like, Sickers didn't care. Like, we just went with the character that had the most amount of, let's just say, health, power, armor, or in this case, like, smaller hitboxes, or... You you know what I mean, right? And, if, for example, in Call of Duty, you would just go with the gun that has the most amount of damage, good firing rate, low recoil... That, that's simply what it comes down to, suckers don't care, like if you have a BWC, BBC, if you don't have a schlong, or what you have within your legs, nobody cares! You suckers care so much that you want us to care, but we don't! We don't care, we just want a good ass game, we just want good characters, but like for example, right, Tomb Raider, right? Suckers love it! Because you know what, like it's a good story, and the character is good, and the character is extra lovable! You feel what I'm saying? And uh, brothers just want a good narrative, good ass gameplay game. And on the side, obviously, like nobody's gonna complain about a good ass, but, but like you can have a good ass in between. But like, damn, homie, like make a good game. Like stop pushing this nonsense, bro. Like harder to hit than your enemies. All right, I really am just going completely off topic now, aren't I? But I just like like the video if you agree, dislike if you disagree. I just wanted to really drive the point home here that what Irena is saying is just factually not true. If anything, in a competitive environment, you'll likely want to play a female character over a male one to ensure yeah. you don't get hit as often. Even Overwatch has this, I mean look at Tracer's hitbox versus Reinhardt's. Sure, different combat roles and all that, but statistically speaking, Tracer is much harder to hit than even characters around her size, like a Hanzo or Genji. Anyway, Irena is completely wrong in this regard, and actually you'd benefit likely in almost every known circumstance- Like, listen, we- we really don't mind when our characters have this big like of hitboxes okay we really don't mind that but you need to make it like coherent you need to make it so like it makes sense instead of like forced diversity diversity okay fine but like forced diversity representation like bruh like bruh 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 i mean bruh bruh stands to play the female character option or if the game has a small goober of a guy like Yoda or Odd Job, that's your ticket to victory, trust me. I still have Vietnam flashbacks of Odd Job running around corners to spin kick me in the kneecaps while I shoot blindly trying to shoot him. Irena finishes by saying representation matters, inclusivity is not the same as racism. Enjoy hating on me for today, I'll go back to making games.
She tries to take the moral high ground, but she's already shown her hand, which proves that she's delusional and completely drunk on the Kool-Aid her and many devs also pride themselves when they want to be inclusive and whatnot. What's also hilarious, if you look at the company she's CEO of, which is called uh -oh. Unleashed Games, Wait for it. if you look at anyone in the higher-up positions of that company besides one Asian guy, every single other executive position is held by a white person, predominantly male as well as you can see here. So Irena not only doesn't understand hitboxes correctly, but her own company doesn't practice what she preaches. Oh, Where's the diversity in your top executive oh, roles, wait. Irena? What are all these- This is all talk just for talk, right? Like, what the hell is going on in gaming? Like, guys, like, like, is it is this like just a North America thing right now? Because like, listen, I don't want to say America bad, okay? I'm not saying that, right? There are a lot of you watching from America that are good people genuinely that that have iq points right then these just i i cannot say the words i was gonna say female dogs these uh <laughs> you, you feel what i'm saying like and i'm in canada and i do apologize i do apologize okay on their behalf i'm in montreal and i recently found out that sweet baby ink is in montreal <laughs> North America, yeah, North America problem. These are first world problems. Like, actually, people in the East are laughing at us. You know, other countries are laughing at us. Literally, they're laughing at us. Like, this shouldn't even be a problem. I, I feel like that when you don't have problems, you try to create problems, right? And I think that's what's happening here in the Western America, in Canada, like North America. And probably not Mexico. I think, like, any Mexican homie watching this, you're gonna be like, yo, I'm Mexican brother, like, that. leave us out, man. We don't, uh, we don't do any of the yeah you're right like okay we're gonna leave mexico out it's like canada and u.s problem yeah uk as well but but still they're kind of catching up they're not as stupid as us here right what what is going on bro like these white men doing here what are you a bigot a racist maybe both of course to me and anyone with a rational thinking brain between their ears none of this stuff matters when it comes to video games you could have a whole staff of odd job sized developers it wouldn't matter to me either way as long as your game is good it runs yeah. well and doesn't talk down to me yeah. i couldn't care less who makes what game but facts, the moment you start facts. to pull these shenanigans with me and others, well, that's how you end up in a video from yeah. yours truly. Irena also thought it would be good to share that she got her period during GDC. Yeah, that's a real thing she tweeted. So, let's all uncomfortably sit together and read this. Don't make this weird, alright? And she said, Two women sharing intimate stories about getting our periods in the GDC 24 merch store is the state of the game industry. Okay, what? this is not the gaming, uh, is this gaming GDC? Like, I thought that was gaming. Wow, so amazing, so brave and inspirational, Reyna. You went to a conference in an air-conditioned place all by yourself, and your body did the biological things that it does automatically every month like usual? Just astounding. Everyone, please give a hand for Irena Pereira. The inspiration is off the charts. A period at the GDC 2024 merch store in this economy? I'm speechless. I'm going to take a knee like Colin, whatever his name is, who plays football. This is astounding. Of course, someone replied, this is a parody, right? To which the white savior, Irena Pereira, said herself in response, fully serious. It's nice to have other women in this industry and to be vulnerable and real with them in a way that we can't be with the majority of devs. This GDC was the most female powered of any of my past GDCs. I am 100% here for this. So she's championing the fact that she can talk about her normal bodily functions with other women who do the same thing yeah. because this is a thing she can't do with the majority of the devs she works with. Again, Irena, you are the CEO Bruh. of your little company that's making a game with six non-white male characters in it. Yet you then admit in your virtue signaling that the majority of the devs you hired for your company are men? Irena, what is this? How can you do this to me? I thought you were one of the good ones. You're over here talking about periods and how female characters have weaknesses to male ones in terms of game development, which is wrong in every conceivable way, and then you hire all men in your leadership role positions? And then you hire mostly men to work on your game too? I can't believe it. That's like different kind of stupid, bro. Like, holy crap. Like, these females are delusional as hell. I feel like I... <sighs> Like, man, feminism is such a joke right now, man. Y'all are being lied to. Like, why you try to listen to the, the fake-ass feminists right there, bruh? Like, they're just brainwashing you and you're falling for it, dog. Strong, independent. It's a lie, bruh. It's a lie. It's more like weak and dependent to the feminism right now. That's who you are being right now. This. Irena, you've lost the very small amount of will I had for you a mere two minutes ago like this. And there are people that you can actually save, and there are people that no matter what you do, you just cannot save. You try to reason with them, but they're so far gone that they, whatever you say, they will just not understand because they're just far gone. She is far from saving. Yeah, I, I call this one unsavable. For a white woman too, how dare you even exist in the year that is 2024? 
The reply after this is what we're all thinking, by the way, which just says this. Shouldn't the GDC be talking about, I don't know, gaming? Yeah. Instead of periods and screaming at the sky? No, they shouldn't, because that doesn't matter anymore, apparently. These devs don't care about good graphics, performance, or giving the players value for their hard-earned money. Isn't it enough that their games have no white male characters pander exclusively at any moment imaginable? Game uh, GDC means like gaming dev conference. It's now like yeah gdc so much for G game gaming devs conference right so well, much use for their that. platform for activism over escapism but obviously i'm joking and irena is peak delusional game dev and i think it's hilarious she has this sort of tantric yoga instructor aura to how she tweets like everything she says she convinces herself no one has ever done before her or something yeah. she probably wakes up in the morning and unironically stares in the mirror for a full minute saying you matter over and over and then of course she drinks her coffee black because milk and cream are white and that would be racist of course and we can't be having that this weird white savior complex a lot of these devs have these days is getting out of hand, man. These are the kinds of people who will get mugged and stabbed and won't do anything. They'll just lie there dying. Yeah, and like, honestly, bro, at this point, milk is white, right? Like, so don't put milk in your coffee. Like, Go, well, at that, least right? I wasn't racist. Yeah. Irena's <laughs> game, which is called Haven, but no, not that Haven game. Another one is probably going to bomb. And I do think it's pathetic that her company, which according to her own words, is predominantly employed with white men, is making a game that hates their very own existence. That's Either insane, all the devs man. who work there just really need a job, or they too have the same liberal, infested, defeatist, hive mind attitude. It's yeah. probably a combination of both. Who are we kidding? Yeah, like, I don't know, man. Like, imagine, like, these are white men, right? Like, imagine they are being told no white men allowed in game. Like, I'm not sure what the hell is... Like, bro, like, why is it a thing with, like, brown, black, white, purple, this and that? Just have a character that makes sense for the game that is good whether like he, he or she whether it's a he or a she or or it's a white or a black or a brown like who cares bro just have a good ass game good story why y'all you say you say that gamers are racist right you say gamers are racist but it's like you suck as are racist bro we don't even care for it we just want a good game regardless of the race religion or the skin color of our character we just want a good game it's you who are trying to divide everybody. And if you're seeing this arena, put some milk in your coffee next time. It's not going to kill you. Then we have this next story, which is equally as tone deaf and stupid, so I will of course continue to respond to their idiocy with my own. From Bouting Into Comics, we have this article titled, BBC Gaming Presenter Jules Hardy uh, called- BB BBC? BBC? Uh, you mean like, uh, BBBB? Uh, yeah! Okay, now this is gonna get her uh, riled up though. Yeah, guys, uh, like, uh, they don't want to have no burnas no more. Uh, yeah, they're talking about- Failure! Is this the BBC bundle you're talking about, bruh? Calls for current Sweet Baby Inc. discourse BBC. to end with a final purge of ideological opponents from the medium. Jules Hardy works for the BBC. No, not that BBC. This one is the British Broadcast Corporation. And she is oh calling for the games industry to purge anyone who doesn't agree with the collective <laughs> ideology these weirdos all champion. It's a bold move on Jules's part, and oh, also man. if you like staying employed within your industry, a rather stupid one to have as well. Dear Jules Hardy, I got a question for you. If you purge everyone who doesn't agree with your games or politics, who are you going to sell your games to exactly? You're probably one of the many people in your industry who still thinks chasing the modern audience is a real and noble thing to do. Not yeah. realizing, as I've said a plenty in the past, that your magical alternative audience doesn't exist. And unless yeah. one of your game dev friends ends up finding a way to open the multiverse to a branch reality full of nothing but mental illness haircut they themselves, who would buy your game products, the likelihood of this happening is probably never gonna happen. Sorry to tell you, Jules and Irena and the other weirdos, but you're stuck with us. You can't reprogram our way of thinking. You're not going to force us into buying any of your garbage just because you say we have to. And you can call us all the names you want, that we're bigots or racists because we don't want to support your mental illness simulator games. Yeah. But that's the beauty of the free market, which is that the market decides what keeps happening. It's yeah. like movies. There was an era of cowboy movies, then the market eventually went, well, we're over them, and then they moved on to other genres. These days it's superheroes, which is dwindling somewhat, and now video game adaptations have become the new craze. Oh, it's absolutely wild, dog. Like, ten years ago, like, it was just... Mm, this crap was nowhere to be found, and we had good games! You remember the PS3 era, the 360 era? Call of Duty games were coming out left and right. I'm talking about Modern Warfare 3, the original, Black Ops 2, same time around, give or take, Uncharted franchise. We also were getting, like, good God of War games around that time, too. You know, and, yeah, good story game, GTA 4. G 
GTA 5 came out in 2013 as well. Gaming was good, man. It was amazing, bro. Like, what? And now, like, fast forward to now, in the last five years, I feel like the gaming has just gone downhill insanely quick, insanely fast. Yeah, sure, we have, like, some good games here and there, Helldivers, for example, right? And recently, they came out, and they are saying that Helldiver needs a day them. They need the, the gay flag in it as well. They need the rainbow flag. They need, like, other flags in the game. Yeah, they said that. Click on this video on the screen. We recently did a video on it, and... Uh, Apparently, Helldivers responded, and you're not gonna believe what they said. Click on this video on the screen, and I'll see you right now.